Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon Guide here on the channel. Today we are going over how to get Tornadus in Pixelmon. Believe it or not, I've not done a guide on these three yet, or I guess four now because I've done Enamorous already. But uh, yeah, I guess the next three videos are going to be a guide on Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. So sit tight and enjoy the show. So if you guys have been enjoying the Pixelmon Guides, smash the like button, share support, consider subscribing if you are new. And let's get right into how to get Tornadus in Pixelmon. So first and foremost, make sure you're on Pixelmon version 9.1.0 and Minecraft version 1.16.5. It's the most recent versions of Pixelmon, so the information I'm giving you is still accurate and things have not changed. If you're watching this guide in the future, feel free to check down below in the description. Uh, there will be links to the different wiki pages I use in direct reference to this guide. And you can see if things have changed or not. And let's get right into this. So first... You want to make sure you capture this pink Oddish right here. This is a very rare Oddish. You're going to make sure you cap it. I'm kidding, but that just happens to spawn in, so that's pretty funny. Um, so it can spawn in the plains and sunflower plains in the afternoon in the air. So what it means by air is it will be in the air flying. It will not be on the ground like you see all these Pokemon. It will be actually in the air flying around, so you're going to look up whenever you see this guy. And it's, it has to be rainy or stormy weather, which is why... I have a thunderstorming right now in the world. So rainy weather will give it a 2% chance at spawning. Stormy weather will give it a 4% chance at spawning. So when you hear that lightning crackle, you're going to want to be ready for this boy to spawn in the plains or sunflower plains biomes. That being said, there is a list of other biomes you can spawn in if you have other mods installed. So on screen now is a list of all those mods. I will try my best to read them all off to you. So if you have biomes of plenty installed, he can spawn in the flower meadow golden prairie grassland grassland clover patch meadow prairie scrubland seasonal pumpkin patch scrubland scrubland hills and wood scrubland if you have the biomes you'll go mod installed you can spawn in the autumnal valley the grassland plateau the meadow the prairie the prairie clearing the shrublands and if you have the terraforge mod installed which you'd need to have biomes of plenty installed uh, he can spawn in the cold steep biome and the regular steep biome and all those conditions still pertain to his normal spawn rates of like afternoon air rainy and stormy weather so that is where he can spawn if you guys are wondering how to transform him into his therian form uh you need the looking glass thing or whatever it's called um reveal glass sorry and then you basically spawn him in right click him and you'll transform into his therian form and that's how you get the therian form i don't believe the therian forms can spawn the wild i do think they can spawn in raid dens however though so there's always a chance of encountering the form in that but this guy's pro is uh mainly just talking about his base form and where that spawns so if you guys want me to do an in-depth guide on his therian form let me know in the comments down below either way that is going to do it for this quick guide there's not really much else to say however i will poke spawn in some because i haven't done this in a while uh tour tornadus let me poke a spawn in a few just so you guys can kind of have an idea of what they look like in the world this is what they'll look like except they'll be flying in the air let me hop into battle with one and let's go over some of the drop rates and things that they can get so as i'm defeating this one in battle let me show you on the screen that this thing actually has a 100 chance to drop one to three green terracotta believe it or not a 50 percent chance to drop one to three feathers and finally, a 10% chance to drop one flying gem. So not really anything crazy that it can drop, but it does have options to drop things. Either way, though, that is going to do it for this guide. I hope it was helpful to you all. If you guys did enjoy, consider as always leaving a like on the video, subscribing. If you're new, comment down below if you yourself have captured a tornado yet in your Pixmon adventure, or if you're currently hunting for one, I'm curious to know. Either way, that's going to do it. I hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, everyone. Goodbye.